Hi, we're here again. Mm, let's have another example regarding this uh, integrating factor found by inspection. So, uh, by the way, uh, the technique here is to familiarize yourself with some uh, exact differentials and then, uh, yeah, that's it. You need to familiarize yourself and practice more lot of, lots of problems. Okay, so we uh, see, let me move a little, a little bit. So we have y dx plus x cubed y squared plus x dy is equal to zero. So say this is our given de, we have y dx plus x cubed y squared plus x dy. Okay, if, um, if, once again, if, uh, if happened that uh, you cannot directly see an uh, exact differentials here, then uh, we might need to simplify further. Simply find the equation. Simplifying the equation, we have uh, y dx plus, let's multiply this dy on our uh, terms. We have x cubed y squared dy plus x dy is equal to 0. Okay, sometimes it is um, simplification is needed. Sometimes um, we can have exact uh, directly our exact integrals. I mean exact differentials. So um, it depends upon the problem. So there's no a specific formula for this part. Okay, so after simplifying the equation, we have this new equation here. Say so this is our equation. This is our equation 1. This is our equation 2. Okay. Yeah. So after your uh, simplification, you can now uh, regroup or uh, uh, rearrange your equation. So you can now uh, directly see the, uh, the uh, exact differentials. Okay. Once again, uh, as uh, true, uh, inspection, you can now see that we have y dx, x dy here. And since we are uh, familiar with this with this one, we can now um, regroup and uh, regroup to uh, easily see the, uh, the exact differentials. Simply see the exact differential or differentials. Okay, so we have, I, I mean, let me put my x dy and y dx on this side and put a bracket, and then our x cubed y squared dy equal to zero okay by the way um, um, I will uh, appreciate if in your in your assignment or homework that you do this uh, you, you do this thing before uh, before writing your solution okay sometimes I uh, skip this process but this is the right way so I can uh, follow what you are doing okay so uh, where are we? After grouping, we can now have uh, that is the same equation. So we we'll say we have e two prime. Then from here, we can now easily see. Um, we can now easily see the exact differential. can see that the equation to prime uh, 
Para analisar. Differentials. T. X, Y, and T, D, Y. Ay, sorry. Plus B, color green. Yan. And as we can see that in the equation 2, we have the exact differentials derivative of x, y, and the derivative of y. So we can now transform this part here with, uh, uh, with um, dx, y. So let me use, we have d x, y plus of course, our part of dy, we have x cubed y squared dy is equal to 0. Okay, so let me name this as equation 3. Okay, so what's next? After, um, after um, finding some exact differentials, then we need to... Um, multiply something need to need to um, multiply multiply multi ah sorry must be multiply multiply integrating factor to uh, make uh, both terms or the whole equation integrable okay so how can we make this whole term integrable we need to find the integ integrating factor through inspection okay so let me rewrite our equation 3 we have d x y plus x cubed y squared dy is equal to 0 okay so from here we need the function of x and y and in this part we need the function of y alone okay so um you can uh, uh do uh the uh, one by one solve uh i mean you can do or you can solve terms one by one say uh since we need this part here a purely uh, function of y alone then uh you need to divide 1 over x cubed, right? So we need to divide 1 over x cubed as our integrating factor. So simplifying, we have d x y over x cubed plus, so we have now y squared dy. And that is purely y function alone, okay? So we've solved this uh, part and then I uh, know um, think again how can we uh, balance the equation to make our uh, uh, equations integrable okay so we've already solved this how about on this part so once again we have x y so we need a uh, function of y we, we have already x so we need a function of y uh, y here so that we can uh, have an equal uh, power of x and y okay so since since that is the case what do you think is the appropriate integrating factor or a factor that we must multiply in this form so that we can make this part an exact differential okay since we have x y with equal 
numerator i mean with equal uh, what what you call this power then um, let's try to um, divide both sides by y cube since we have x cube here why not try to divide it by y cube and by doing that we can uh we cannot uh i mean um i mean uh the uh the multiplication of this y here cannot change the uh, the uh, what do you call this cannot affect the uh, the y terms here okay cannot affect the y terms here because if you multiply by this y term here then this will become a purely y alone paren okay so let's try it we have now x cube y cube plus so y squared divide y cube we have dy all over y yan then um you can simplify this you have d x y x y raised to 3 plus dy all over y is equal to 0 okay and as you've noticed we are already in terms or the equation is now integrable so the next step after we have um, multiply some integrating factor to make our equation and uh, uh, having exact differentials so we can now integrate integrate Let's call this equation. Uh, let's call this equation four. Integrate equation four. Integrate equation four. We have integral of the x y. So y raised to 3 plus integral of dy over y is equal to 0. Okay. So how can we integrate this? So this one is simply uh, 1 over y or ln of y. So let me write my plus c here. How about this? So you can uh, uh, simplify uh, this by... Uh, by um, making this part here or by moving this in our numerator so we have x y negative 3 right that is only a part of your algebra and uh, if we have this kind of uh, integ uh, integration here we can now uh, use the power power rule in integration so we have x y negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2 all over negative 2 right plus this part here ln of y is equal to c and this is now our uh, uh, general solution but you can uh, you can um, simplify this so we have a uh, negative 1 over 2 multiplied by x y squared plus ln of y is equal to c so uh, that's it if you wanna uh, simplify it further then uh, it's okay and so finally this is now our general solution